Hello there, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to another episode of KSP, Playing Them Contracts, where we completed the orbit curbing contract, but did not complete the test the radial decoupler, even though we should have, technically. But, alas, no such luck. Uh, now, it is time for Bill to come back home. Actually, have you done an EVA, though? Uh, have we done a crew report? We have done a crew report right there. Yes, we have. Which means we've probably done an EVA as well. Why can't I click on the damn crew hatch? Crew oh, yes, you can't click on the window. You actually have to click on the door. That's dumb. All right, EVA, Bill. What you got for me, man? EVA report. Oh, yeah, look at that. Eight science. Beautiful. Keep that data. Jump back on board. And uh, let's actually transmit it since uh, we can. Maybe at some point if I can click on the damn... There we go. One experiment modules will become inoperable if their data is removed. Right, because I don't have the scrubber. That's cool, at least it gives you the option now. Um, let's just transmit the reusable one. That's perfect. I only wanted to send the uh, EVA report anyways, so that's that's amazing. Okay, uh, how are we doing on charge? We're still pretty good on charge. I was afraid that the uh, this would, would kill my charge. That's weird, so you can't even like click up here. You actually have to click on like basically where the the stairs are there's a really small like hitbox for it it's kind of weird all right let's see uh how much do you got now still eight really still eight i feel like that's not right oh okay i see it's now it's zero we reset it EVA report. Yeah, okay, it is zero. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, <laughs> you shouldn't be able to, uh... Well, were you not, uh, holding on last time? You crazy man, what are you doing, Jeb? Why were you not holding on? Look at you stupid grin on your face. Alright, um, so that's that. What do we have in here? Oh, yeah, 25 science. That's quite a bit, actually. I'm gonna keep that. Since, you know, we can't reuse it anyways, you might as well keep it. <clears throat> and uh, I guess that's that. Uh, time to come back to Earth, or Kerbin. And we're going to try to land on land, hopefully. Should be fine. This is a huge chunk of land here. I would really like to land in the, uh, the sunlight, though. So, let us do that. Spin you around. Let's get the fine controls on. That'll actually be very helpful here. And, uh, yeah, let's get going. I'll probably even leave this rocket on and use it to, uh, slow down once we get close to the ground. Because we have quite a bit of fuel here. So I'm going to try to lower it so that it's, like, the periopsis is somewhere around here-ish. Because the globe will keep moving and I will hopefully actually fall where I'm supposed to fall. Yeah, if we go like so, where's the periapsis now? It's at 20. Yeah, that should be fine, actually. So it'll be at 20, the atmosphere will drag me down, and it, it's really thick. It'll probably put me down here somewhere. Hopefully. Hopefully. And I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to be adopting a policy that my good buddy Sporks is doing. Uh, he's, uh, he's also doing his own playthrough with, uh, contracts. And his policy is basically hardcore mode, no uh, no auto, nor no reloading, no like no quick saving, no reloading, none of that stuff. So uh, yeah, whatever happens happens. Let's let's see what happens. Let us. Uh, you don't actually like drain much charge from SAS. That's good to know. Well, I mean, it's also only the uh, internal SAS, so that's not much. Uh, anyways, let's zoom, zoom, zoom. And see what happens. As soon as we hit the atmosphere, we should slow down quite a bit. Yeah, there, we hit the atmosphere already. In fact, we hit the atmosphere already. Yikes. Um, I may have just messed that up a little bit. I may just land in the water, which is not good because that'll probably destroy the uh, the bottom the bottom part. 
In fact, I'll probably leave the engine. If I do end up landing in the water, I'll, I'll leave this until the landing and then decouple it so I can use it as like a, a cushion. Hmm, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't... I, I think we're going to land in the water. Because I totally botched that up. We might not, but I'm pretty sure we will. But we might not. At this rate... I don't know. No, I'm, I think we're going to. Yeah, it's shrinking way too fast. We might even actually land. No, we're not going to land on that piece of land. We're going to land in the water. That sucks. Is it, come on, at least give me daylight. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, hey, we're uh, we're coming down. How, how low are we? 32. We might even land on that little piece of land. That would be just amazing. I don't think we will. We're going to land like just outside of it, but I should probably turn SAS off as well. So this thing can do its its thing. Yeah, there's that little piece of land over there. Oh, I was so close. I just wanted... I hate landing in the dark because you can't see a damn thing. Where are we going? Are we... Uh... Oh my god. If I actually make it on that little strip right there, that would be... Something else. Uh, possibly. Just possibly. If I use the engine, actually, we might... Might get it there. But I'm not going to do any of that until we stop being on fire. Oh, it's kind of sad when there's no music. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I like music. I still feel like there needs to be like ground music. Or in-atmosphere in music. Alright, we're not on fire anymore. That's okay. Never mind. We're still on fire. We are... Holy dicks. Are we actually coming down there? Yes, yes we are. We are actually going to land on ground. That is... That's that's pretty damn surprising. I'll, I'll say that. And yes, we're going to keep waiting. Going to keep waiting. I don't want to pop those chutes yet. Just head straight for the ground. Oh no, we're going to miss it. Oh no, we should be fine. Should be fine. Alright, let's pop the shoots now. Oh, okay, that's not a shoot at all. I should have, uh, you know, maybe swapped the, um, the damn stages. Because I totally just botched that up now completely. We might still land on, on ground, but no, nah, no, we're not. We're going to land in the water. Crap. Yeah, I was going to use the engine to, uh, or the rocket to, like, hover over to that side. But now, I just uh, done goofed, so hopefully we don't die when we hit the ground, or the water. I guess let's let's keep all this data, why not? A little bit of extra science is always nice. And uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for the parachutes to pop and see what happens. And I have to say, 64-bit runs a hell of a lot better. I am also running it on my SSD right now, so that's probably that probably helps a little bit. Yes, oh my god, they actually fixed the sound with the, uh, the stuff hitting water and being super loud. Okay, here we go. Shoots are gonna pop. And we're good. Um, we seem to be upside down. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess that's fine. <laughs> I suppose, I mean... Oh, crap, I don't want to lose the experiments. We're going slow enough that we should be fine. Can I, like, flip this damn thing over? Come on, Bale. Just roll around in there a little bit. Just come on. Push it. Okay, other side. It's like a swing. Just got to get the momentum and swing it. Come on, buddy. You got 300 meters. I don't think it's happening. Nope. You can, like, you can keep it on like that on an angle, but that's not... That's no good. Oh, we're so close. So close, but not not close enough. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm gonna, I guess, like hold it like this, because I'd rather it. I don't know. I I don't I don't know what the impact tolerance is of these things. I can't remember. Actually, I think this thing is super sensitive, so it might not be best to land on it, anyways. I don't know. We're going slow enough. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 100 meters. Here we go, guys. 
50 meters. Slow it down to regular speed. Come on, nothing break. Nothing break, nothing break, nothing break. Nothing wants to break now. Yes, nothing broke. Success! We have made it back home. Even though we didn't complete that other damn contract because of stupid reasons. But hey, we made it back home. Huzzah. Can I do uh, like a, a thing now? I can't. It's so dumb. I guess it is much easier to just do it that way. EVA report. What you got for me, man? You're not flying. What are you talking about? Dude, you're not, you're not flying on anything. You're crazy. You're, you're standing in the ocean. You're not flying. I can take a surface sample. Are you kidding me? Of what? The water? You took a sample of the soil. It's very muddy and sandy. There might be a body of wonder water nearby. Really? No way. Body of water nearby? Nah. Not at all. Anyways, uh, enough being stupid. Let's get back on. Okay, that's, yep. Ask first. That's how we do it. And, um, I guess let's try to see what else we can get. If we can get any more science out of this guy. Alright, uh, surface sample again. Another nine science. Sure. I have a feeling it's not going to be exactly that. Because now, like, <clears throat> I have the science stored in the ship, but I also have it stored in him. It's And it's basically the same. It's a copy of the, the same thing. So if I were to recover him and then recover the vessel, would I get double the science? I don't actually know. How much science does he have on him? He's got... He should get 9 science plus 2.4. So, like, 11, 11 science. 11.4 science. Okay. Um... Keep data, keep data. So recover vessel. Recover the vessel and see if he gets 11.4 science. So I guess that I kind of messed up because I should have also looked at the, uh, yeah, he still gets the 11.4, but I should have looked at the, uh, the, the thing, the other, the ship. Yeah, let's go check the ship. Let's see how much the ship has on it. And I do still want, I still want to do the, uh, the the hundred day challenge or whatever it was I guess I don't know if it's a hundred days anymore no no it should still be the uh, the same yeah, it should still be the same uh, asteroid orbits and stuff so I think the first the closest one would intercept in a hundred days so I would like to uh, have enough science that I can actually get to it in a hundred days uh, but let's get to Orbitus and see see what we got for science. I don't know, overall I'm pretty satisfied with how this mission went. Overall, I mean, we do still have the one damn contract that didn't complete because of... Blah, 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 blah. Stupid reasons. So I guess that's what that's for then, it's just your, uh, like your, your confirmation thing. That is quite a bit of money out of it, 60 grand? That's, that's, that's good. Like that ship cost us almost 20 grand to make. So yeah, that covers the, co the cost and then some. I guess if we delete that, yeah, that happens. Okay, uh, so let's check. Ah, oh, crap. What's the easiest way to check the science on here? I guess. Oh, I can't, like, right click on any of this stuff. Alright, never mind then. Um, and there's nothing up here that gives you, like, a summary of the science. Alright, let's just cover it. I don't know. I assume we'll get. We might be able to see the, uh, the breakdown, actually. We'll see the uh, soil sample from Kerbin. So what do we got? Surface sample from Kerbin Shores. 2.3 science. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't... It, it's actually smart like that. You can't you can't just <laughs> cheat the system. So the science that Bill recovered would have been these two. But because he recovered it first, this is actually zero science from that, which that would have been like 2.4, and this is 2.3, where that would have been like 9 or something, whatever it was at before. So, alright, that's cool, that's cool. We got 96 science out of that. Good stuff, guys. And uh, we recovered 13 parts, one resource. 17 kilometers from KSC, 17% of value. Oh, cool. So the closer you land to uh, to the space center, 
the more value you get out of the things you recover. That's neat. Uh, where's the... Um, it says resource recovered. What what resource? The monopropellant? Monoprop? What the hell? What, I don't have any monoprop. Uh, okay. Now I'm kind of curious to see where that came from. Wow, look at that. The uh, the goo, the, the science stuff is worth so much. Everything is worth quite a bit, actually. Yeah, the science junior is 152. Cool. Well, that was good. So, is that... So we made a thousand funds, so now we're sitting at 60, almost 67. Cool. We have 97 science, and uh... Uh, like, I can't, I don't know what that says. We have green rep. Yes, I know we have green rep. Cool. Um, we need to, well, and that whole thing, that whole mission only took, like, half an hour. In, in game, half an hour. So that was around 20 minutes when I started. Alright, um, what was, what was it I wanted to do? Oh, R&D. Yeah, let's go check R&D. What do we got here? We have... Nose cone. Lame. 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 Okay. Good. 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 Oh, SAS. Excellent. Cockpit, so we can get, uh, maybe some airplanes going. Power. Yeah, power's nice. I, I'm kind of super tempted to just blow... <laughs> just, I, I just want to blow my load just so I can get the uh, solar panels, but I don't feel like... Well, we are really having trouble with the batteries yet, so... Um... I'm, I'm curious. We can do... Yeah, let's just do that and that. And that brings us up to... So now we have... Yeah, so now we can actually unlock this. Which is good. I really am... I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards this right now. But at the same time... Launch clamps and struts. Oh boy, struts. How expensive are these? I can't... What? What is that entry purchase? Oh, can you buy? Um, can I just buy something? Uh, let's go to here. I can't just buy something. Do I need to have the requirements to just buy something? Uh, let's buy the struts. No. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm wrong. What is, what's the entry price then? Entry purchase. That's not how much it costs to, to put it on something. No, the cost is... No, the cost is not that. I don't know. I, I could swear you could... You were able to buy things individually before. And I'm thinking that like the, the entry purchase, that's just credits. Just money. Or Kerbal Bucks. What, what is that? It's like a V? VF? Their symbol... Anyways, whatever. Uh, let's go with... Uh, so we have 45 science, so we can buy like one of these. We can't touch these. So let's go... <clears throat> wow, excuse me. That's some... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, my voice just kind of went there. Um, do we want bigger fuel tanks? And bigger engines? Oh, no. I'm just like... Just struts. Like, that, that instantly sells it to me. Not only is it struts, this, this thing, this general construction is such a good point such a good thing to pick up like not only do you get struts which are fantastic you get the launch clamps which are pretty damn good and i mean you don't necessarily need launch clamps if you build a fairly balanced rocket because it'll just kind of chill there on the launch pad and be totally fine but i don't like to build simple rockets i like to kind of go a little crazy and launch clamps are just they're just good you know they're just handy to have you don't especially when the things that you're building, like when you go to the launch pad, if if I do what I said I'm going to do and not reload or anything, if I have my rocket fall over and everything blows up, that's like money just gone. <laughs> it's huge chunks of our funds just gone and possibly Kerbal's dead. So yeah, launch clamps, useful. Radial decouplers, I goddamn radial decouplers, I can't believe I still didn't get that contract. But these are pretty good too. I think these are actually a little bit better than the other ones. They're a little lighter, I believe, and they 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 have a higher ejection force. I, I think I can't remember. Uh, but also, you get the tricoupler, which is amazing because you know 
three engines instead of one is better. All right, uh, before we call the episode, because it is that time, I did want to check Astronaut Complex. Let's hire some dudes. Marbro, you're my bro, Marbro. Adard. <clears throat> I still don't think these actually play any part in the uh, Courage and Pity. I don't think they matter. Uh, you know, whatever, let's just hire all of them. Does it matter how many you have hired? I don't think so, because you're not paying for them. You don't have to train them or anything. <laughs> Lost. Missing in action. Oh, I didn't actually know that Bob was uh, apparently this like really smart. I knew he was a pussy. And I knew Bill was really dumb, but I didn't know Bob was super smart. T doesn't show it. And okay, let's see what... Oh, hey, contracts. We do still have this damn contract. Yeah, mm -hmm, right, screw you, buddy. I should have completed the damn thing. What? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand exactly what. Uh. Well, I guess yeah, we're on Kerbin, so that that that's technically complete. Yeah, whatever. Uh, science data from space around Kerbin. Following an impossibly not that bad accident, a visitor from Maxo Construction Toys finally concluded that Kerbin was in fact perfectly round and not an oblate spheroid as some lunatics suggest. Uh, transmitters recover science data from space around Kerbin. I'm guessing that's from the uh, around the orbit. Yep, that's cool. I can do that. Test the LV-909. Landed at Kerbin. That sounds easy enough. That's the Rockamax while landed. That's Rockamax. Uh, solid fuel booster in flight over Kerbin. What? Who would put solid fuel boosters for flight? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that is such a dumb contract. Because. Uh, oh my god. Well, okay. Um, we might actually be able to do this one and the, uh, the decoupler one at the same time because they have the same requirements. Or very similar ones, anyways. Test Rocket Max, decoupler on the, yeah, test the solid fuel. Again, with this is, that's just dumb. I mean, that, okay, this is a little bit better because it's only at 5,000 to 6,000 meters, but the other one is at like 20,000 meters? You would never, ever use a solid fuel booster this high up in the atmosphere. It makes no sense. Um, anyways, so I guess we'll accept that one. I guess we just accept, accept all of them. Rescue Harbles Kerman from Kerbin. Who was stuck in orbit around Kerbin. No, he's not. Oh, I guess they, they like kind of stick somebody out there. Oh, pro probo what? Probo Probodobodine. Probodobodine Inc. must have sent out Harbles Kerman. Yeah, cool. Well we can rescue him, no problem. Shall test small gear bay. What? Do we have small gear bays? We don't have small gear bays. What are you talking about, guys? That's like here-ish. Yeah, I'm not picking that contract up until I actually have the science for it because it expires in two days and I don't want to... I'm not going to decline it, but I'll just leave it there. But uh, anyways, though, I am going to leave the, the episode off here. I'm loving the new contract mode. This is cool. It gives you it gives you incentive to do more things than just build insane rockets to go to the moon or other planets or whatever. Just to, just to build insane stuff. Like it, it gives you a, a a purpose. You know, like career mode before was cool. Like when they added it, it was just a bare bones career mode, and it was really neat with the science and everything. But now you have, like I said, you have a purpose, and it's I don't know. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too. And uh, anyways. As always, uh, let me know what you thought of the episode down below, and I will catch you guys. Uh, actually, one second. One, one second before you go away. I wanted to... No. Uh, I wasn't sure if there was a way to check in here if you could see your prestige. Uh, I don't know where you would be able to check that. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Is there a way to check that? Like, to see the actual number? So I'm like hovering over it, doesn't do anything, right-clicking, brings my mouse down there. What? Is that a thing?
you right click anywhere and it brings your mouse directly to the, the VAB. That is cool. I did not know that. Oh, no, never mind. Now it goes towards that. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.